Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today, I'm gonna do just an eyeshadow tutorial. Um, I'm gonna try to go over everything with you guys and I'm gonna get as close to the camera as I possibly can. Um, so I already did my eyebrows off camera and I primed my lids and I set them. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get started into the eyeshadow. I'm not gonna do the whole face uh, tutorial just cause I already did that in my first video. And today I just kind of want to make an, um, an eye look video. So yeah, we'll go ahead and get started into that. So if you guys want to go ahead and see how that turns out, please keep on watching. Alright guys, so I am super close to the camera now. So we're going to go ahead and get started. I have everything right in front of me over here. So if I keep looking down, that's why. Just want to position this like not an awkward view. I know you can see all my imperfections and redness, but... We're going to go ahead and ignore that. So I'm going to go ahead and take the Morphe and Jaclyn Hale, the JH32 brush. Looks like this. And I'm going to grab from the Soft Glam Anastasia palette, just a little bit of orange soda. Tap the excess off. I'm just going to go ahead and blend that all over the lid. And I'm trying not to use my little mini... Um, my little mini mirror that I have because I know it's kind of hard for you guys to see sometimes. Okay, so that looks about right for now. And I'm gonna go ahead and grab the Morphe M433. And I'm gonna grab, um, let's see, it's like a burnt orange from the James Charles palette. Um, not a huge fan, but I really liked all the colors. I did see Wet n Wild is coming out with a palette very similar to it so if you guys aren't really fans of him then you could probably get that one i just really wanted to get this palette because it has a lot of different colors and i wanted to start playing with brighter colors so that's kind of the only reason i got it um so i'm gonna be taking like a burnt orange from the james charles palette And I just go back and forth because I want to make sure they're like even. Okay, so moving on from these orange tones, I'm going to go ahead and grab, this is going to be the uh, Jaclyn Hill uh, and Morphe again, F JH41. Sorry guys, I cannot read. So like a flat little brush like this. And I'm cleaning it with my Color Switch Solo by Veramona. This comes in handy. Grab my Instant Age Rewind Concealer, the one I always use or the one I have been using. And I'm gonna put some of that on the brush, just so when you put the blue, it, it's like a little bit brighter, since I already set my eyes. And it's nothing too crazy. So I'm wiping uh, the brush off again, the same brush that I just used, the flat brush. And I'm gonna go ahead and grab again from the James Charles palette a blue. It's not like a royal blue, it's a little bit, I wanna say like a purpley blue. Let me see if I can show you guys. Okay, so it's like there's three different blues in that palette. This one doesn't have names, or it did. It had like a little plastic sheet on it with all the names, but I took it off and I threw it away, so I don't know what the names are. Pack it on. And you kind of want to follow that line that you did, but we are pretty much done with this part. And for this, I'm just going to go ahead and go back in with my Morphe M433. Grab that same uh, orange from the James Charles palette. Just blend it in between the two. So I'm going to grab my Morphe M M149 brush. It's a tiny little let's see, tiny little brush. Sorry, I have the other brush in my hand still. And I'm going to grab the darker blue from the James Charles palette once again and just put it all in my crease, kind of like in the middle of the orange and the blue. I'm going to go ahead and grab a brown. Right, it's kind of like a, hmm, how do I explain this brown? Kind of like an orangey brown, like a brick color, I guess you can say. Same brush, the Morphe M149 brush. 
And then I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing that I was doing with the blue. You don't want it to look too like slapped on. And then blending is also super important. So I'm gonna go in with my M Morphe M433 brush and just blend away. So we should be here right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye off camera and I will be right back. All right guys, so that's the completed eye look. Um, now I'm gonna go ahead and grab my brush to clean it all up, just to clean up the edges. And then I'll go ahead and show you guys the finished look right after. I'm just going to clean this up. Now I'm going to go ahead and grab the R33 from Morphe and just blend this out. I'm debating if I should do my whole face with you guys. I mean, might as well, right? Okay. Well, I'm just going to do it. Let's do the whole face. And I'm going to prime with the No, no Pore Blend. I can really say this. No pore blam primer from Touch and Soul. So I know I said I wasn't gonna do this with you guys, but just in case, if you guys want to stop watching here, if all you wanted to see was the eye look, then go ahead and stop here. But if you just want to go ahead and see my whole look, might as well. I'm gonna just on a little bit of Fenty, my Fenty primer, I mean Fenty primer, my Fenty foundation. For some reason, I really like using this foundation as a base. I don't know why, I mix it with almost all of my other foundations. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab some of the Maybelline Fit Me, and in the Maybelline Fit Me, I am 128. And I feel like this gives me like a bronzed kind of look. It is a little darker than my skin tone, but I, I really like how it comes out. And I'm just gonna put it all over the face. Okay, so that looks good. We're gonna be moving on from foundation to concealer. Where did I put it? Grab my NARS. It's hiding from me. NARS concealer. I'm actually running out of this. So. I haven't used the Huda Beauty found the Huda Beauty. Oh my god, why can I not talk? The Huda Beauty found the Huda Beauty powder in a long time. Probably since I bought it, which was maybe a few months ago. I I just don't really like the smell, I know. Some people, well, a bunch of people either complained about the smell or they really liked it. I'm the person that doesn't like it. It just smells very... I don't know, like too perfumey. And I know also the foundation smells exactly the same and I just get scared. Like I, try, I know I tried to sample of the Huda, the Huda Beauty foundation and it just scared me because of how much... It smelled like perfume. Like I was just really scared to put it on my face because I didn't want to break out since my face is so sensitive. So yeah, that's my little Huda Beauty rant. No shade to them. I just, I feel like everybody has their own personal opinion on the beauty industry and like certain things, you know, like with the James Charles palette, no, no shade to you if you're a fan. That's just like my personal opinion. I don't support him in any way. I just love Morphe and I love the palette. So I just decided to get it. Um, but yeah, no shade to Huda Beauty or anything. I really love them. Um, just not a fan of the scent. Of their scents in their products. So yeah, that's about it. I feel like I shrugged my shoulders like 10 times in that little bit that I was trying to explain things. I'm going to grab my brush and the Morphe E48. I feel like I don't really need to tell you guys about my face brushes because I told you about them in the first video. Or I didn't tell you because I was talking, but I showed them to you guys. So yeah, I'm just kind of going to go through the my face pretty fast. I'm not going to make this a whole explaining tutorial, just mostly like a talk, talk with me. So 
yeah let me grab my cheek parade from benefit honestly if you guys don't have this you need it for those of you that are watching this is not my well these are my roots but they're not like this grown out so don't come for me it's how i dyed my hair this recent just recently which was in may like around mother's day or on mother's day no mexican mother's day yeah i don't know something somewhere around mother's day and i just i told my hairstylist that i didn't i wanted to be blonde and i just didn't want it to show like you know how when your hair obviously grows out you can see that difference i didn't want it to be like that i wanted it to be more of like a natural fade or not fade yeah i guess natural fade so that's kind of what she did so just so it doesn't look too dramatic when it grows out and like all you know funky looking so that's yeah that's what she did and as it keeps growing in i'm just like imagining myself with my brown hair again and i kind of miss it but at the same time it was so hard to get to blonde it took me oh my god this is stuck in my hair it took me i want to say uh, how long did it take me two years I started dyeing my hair in 2017. Yeah, it was just not a cute process. So shout out to everybody that dealt with how funky I looked while I was trying to look poppin' and blonde, which I don't recommend if you don't want to go through an ugly process with your hair, don't go blonde. This is the first time I had went to the pool since my hair has been blonde. I went to a little resort, um, I want to say what, like two weeks ago? If you guys follow me on Instagram, you probably saw my little pictures I posted. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, go ahead and follow me. It's at, at X Casey Eileen. I'll put the, the little um, description right here so you guys can see the pool. And you know, I thought I was all popping, going for a little swim. And then by the time I took a shower, my hair was... It smelled like chlorine. It was just, it was a, just a hot mess. Like I didn't think my hair would get that damaged going in the pool. And I wasn't even in the pool for that long. It was probably like an hour or two at the most that I was in the pool, and it was just not the business. So yeah, I thought like my hair was done. It was ruined. I mean, but I saved it. I put a few little products in it, and it's not the best. It's still pretty soft. So if you guys want me to do like a, a hair care routine video for like girls that are blonde, let me know. Comment down below or DM me on Instagram, whatever you guys want to do. And while we're here, I'm just going to go ahead and finish up my, while I'm baking, I'm going to go ahead and finish like the under eye. I'm going to do like, um, add some blue. All right done with that i'll probably add more once i put like my lashes on and stuff if it doesn't look too bright and i'm just gonna clean this off i'm just gonna do the rest off camera just so this video doesn't get too long and i'll go ahead and show you guys the finished look all right guys so i am back with the completed look this is how she turned out. Let me go ahead and get closer. Um, I don't know if you guys can see much when I did that, but hopefully you did. Um, I just threw on a quick little gloss. I didn't put any lip liner or anything. I'm not a big fan of that. Um, oh my God, this eyelash is bothering me, this inner corner. Um, I paired it with, oh, okay, love that. I paired it with the Frankie Rose Gloss in the shade Sugar. This has been my favorite lipstick. I've had it for maybe, I mean lip gloss, sorry, not lipstick. I've had it for maybe like two years already, or a year. Um, I'm pretty sure it's discontinued because I've checked on Beauty Planet, which they sell um, Frankie Rose there. And I've checked even on the Frankie Rose website and it's not on there, which kind of sucks, but it's okay. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and look for dupe for it because this is literally the best lip gloss ever. Like nude gloss, I would say. Um, yeah, so this is the finished look, guys. Go ahead and let me know what you think. 
comment down below give me thumbs up and um also don't forget to let me know what kind of videos you guys want to see so i can keep you guys posted and hopefully entertained with this video um i know i did a lot of talking kind of just wanted to rant to you guys or not really rant just talk i guess um about beauty products and all that good stuff so if you guys stayed watching to the very end thank you so much don't forget to like and subscribe and if you guys want to hit that bell button down below um to get notified when i post go ahead and do that so yeah um i'll see you guys in my next video thank you so much for watching bye guys